Good morning, or depending when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and I was always told out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be looking at a new stadium that is coming out in the upcoming Celestial Storm expansion. In the first weekend in August, that's coming out. It is Sky Pillar, the place where you find the old Rayquaza and all of that. So, you know, fairly important. And let's face it, in a set where we know we are getting Rayquaza GX... Makes sense that we would get a Sky Pillar. Now, of course, our translation here, they don't always come from David Hockman, but they often come from David Hockman, and this is one of the ones that has come from the lovely David Hockman. And he tells us that what Sky Pillar does is it prevents all effects of attacks, including damage, done to both players' bench Pokemon by their opponent's Pokemon's attacks. Now, a few things to unpack about this before we really get started. First of all, it is all effects of attacks, including damage. So although it would stop something like a Tapu Koko spreading a whole bunch of damage around, that's quite nice, it would also stop something like an Espeon GX's GX attack, Divide, allows you to put 10 damage counters anywhere you like. If you've got a Sky Pillar in play, or I suppose if your opponent's got a Sky Pillar in play, Espeon can still put those damage counters on the active, but can only put them on the active. Similarly, if a Sylveon GX were to come along and try and use its GX attack, Sylveon's GX attack doesn't see that much play, but it does occasionally. Plea GX, put two of your opponent's bench Pokemon and all cards attached to them into your opponent's hand. Oh, that sounds a lot like an effective attack to me, ladies and gentlemen. It would be stopped by this. So it's damage, but it's also all effects of attacks. But it's also only by your opponent's Pokemon's attacks. So first of all, something like an ability, think Decidueye GX's Feather Arrow, would go through this. It only stops attacks. It doesn't stop abilities. And secondly, it's only by your opponent's Pokemon's attacks. So if you were to take something like a Doug Trio, for instance, which does a bit of self-damage to your own bench, that would not be stopped by Sky Pillar here, because that's from your Pokemon, not from your opponents. Okay, so that's out the way in terms of what it does. The next question is, how useful is it? And the answer is, pretty gosh darn useful. Now, we did have a stadium that did a similar thing back in Furious Fist. It was Mountain Ring, and it did see a little bit of play. That prevented all damage done to bench Pokemon by attacks. So this helped against your attacks and your opponents but it was only damage not effects of attacks and in a format where we've got stuff like Espeon like Sylveon etc I really do like the fact that you can stop effects of attacks damage counters etc as well as just plain flat out damage doesn't stop your own attacks but there aren't many Pokemon around at the moment that do damage their own bench so I can live with this I think I can accept this as a thing and you know what it's a decent stadium. Mountain Ring saw a bit of play. I would expect this to see a bit of play. I mean, certainly, I don't love playing against Garbona Espeon. And one of the most annoying things about that is playing against Espeon with Divide GX. Now, your opponent can always play a Field Blower or pop down their own stadium, Parallel City being quite popular in those decks. Although, to be fair, that is rotating about a month after this comes out. And then... As soon as that stadium's off the field, your opponent can drop those damage counters. But at least it gives you just that little bit of protection in the short term. The other option we've got at the moment is Machoke. Now, Machoke is a very, very, very good option indeed. You see, when we look at Machoke, it's actually all-encompassing. It prevents all damage done to your bench Pokemon by your opponent's attacks. And it stops your opponent's attacks and abilities putting damage counters down. So it would stop Divide, and it would stop Feather Arrow, and it would stop Flying Flip, but this would not stop something like Sylveon's Plea GX, because that is an effective attack, not damage or damage counters, whereas Sky Pillar would stop it. And at this point, you're probably starting to see that actually... There are many different options that do many different things. Probably the best option recently has been Mr. Mime, although again, that is rotating on the 1st of September. Mr. Mime only stops damage. Doesn't stop anything else. Only stops damage. Little bit of a pain. 
However, it's a basic Pokemon. So you can play something like a Nest Ball and just grab it out straight away and you're off and rolling. And that's what's been really good about Mr. Mime. If you're facing down something like a Tapu Koko, for instance, Mr. Mime is brilliant. Of course, we've got Buzzwall. So actually, at the moment, playing a Mr. Mime against a Buzzwall, especially if you've got something like Mew in your deck that can be KO'd by two lots of residual damage from Jet Punch, it's pretty important. But we're losing that. So essentially, we've lost Mountain Ring, we've lost Mr. Mime, and we're going to be in a situation where your two choices are either you play Sky Pillar or you play Machoke. Now, Machoke did for a while see a bit of play in decks like Gyarados and decks like, well, I personally played it in Vespaquen. Lots of low HP Pokemon. Having said that, really... This was when Decidueye was a really big thing. So something like a 40 HP Combi would be sitting on the bench or a 30 HP Magikarp and you'd be sitting there just being like, well, what am I supposed to do about that? There's nothing I can do about that. And then, of course, something like Mr. Mime wouldn't be good enough because it was damage counters from an ability, so Machoke would come in. In the format we're in at the moment, Decidueye is not really relevant. I mean, people keep talking about using Leafy on GX with it, and maybe it'll make a comeback at some point. But ever since Forest of Giant Plants rotated, basically giving away that super quick way of getting it out, we don't really have to worry about Decidueye anymore. I'm not saying Decidueye is unplayable. I'm not saying nobody in the world is ever playing Decidueye. But I am saying that Decidueye is a whole heap worse than it was. And I am saying that it's not that much of a worry at the moment. Tapu Koko is a little bit of a worry. And Boswell is a huge worry. And at the moment, I don't really think Sky Pillar's that great. Because we've got Mr. Mime. However, Damage Counters is a whole different question. Because, honestly, Espeon GX is a pain. And you never know when your opponent's going to drop something like an Oricorio. Because in the expanded format, Oricorio is incredibly, incredibly popular. Because it's a great counter for decks like Night March and Vespaquen. And this would protect against that nicely. So... If you're only worried about damage like Buzzwall for the time being, Mr. Mime will do the trick. If you're worried about damage counters, Machoke is better. But the problem with Machoke is that it's a stage one. Now, when the rotation hits in September, we're losing Garboda. And we're going to have a Alolan Muck, but that only turns off Basic, so it won't turn off Machoke. And we're going to have Glaceon that turns off GXs, but Machoke is not a GX. The only way to turn it off is going to be having a Slacking in the active, and Slacking doesn't do bench damage anyway. Although, to be fair, you could have a Slacking in the active turning it off and then using Decidueye's ability. But that's about the only way to turn off Machoke. So, here's essentially where we are. Machoke is still probably better because it's more reliable, but it's a stage one. Whereas Sky Pillar stops the damage, stops the damage counters, and will stop stuff like Plea on a Sylveon, which is great. But at the end of the day, and I told you this a minute ago, it's a stadium. Which means if your opponent puts down their own stadium or plays a field blower, it goes away. And this is another one of those stadiums like Aether Paradise Conservation Area, where it is in your opponent's control. Your opponent decides if this works. So if I play a Devoured Field in a Dragon deck, I put it down, I do the extra damage, I decide if this stadium does anything. Whereas with Sky Pillar, it's really about your opponent hitting the bench or doing stuff to the bench because it literally doesn't work against your own Pokemon. So if your opponent plays a field blower, you've gotten no use out of that stadium whatsoever. Sky Pillar won't work against your own Pokemon's attacks and it is vulnerable to field blower. Machoke is a stage one and won't work on effects of attacks. There we go. I still think it's a free Wossy card. I still think it's relevant. I still think you need a couple copies of your binder just in case you ever want to actually use this one day because it is the kind of card that you won't play for ages and then one day you'll want four to stick in your deck against a particular matchup. But honestly, I don't 
know how great it's going to be, given that it is a stadium and your opponent can just field blow it away and it's gone forever. But maybe you disagree with me, maybe you agree with me, maybe you want to say hello, maybe you want to tell me where you met your best friend. Either way, the comment section is the place to go. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wossy, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcgradio. If you want to support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff, head on over to patreon.com slash ptcgradio where you can do just that. And do check out my video game slash Dragon Ball Super channel, Wossy Plays, for some more Wossy action. But by far the most important thing as always is to look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ross and you've been watching PTCG Radio.